Sanitize your treatment center at least every four weeks or after an extended period of non-use. Sanitation will help deter possible deposits on the walls of the water lines and effectively prevents the formation of a biofilm. Drain the treatment water from the fresh water bottle and then fill it up with Dentosept S. If your treatment center is equipped with the option to change over to the public drinking water supply, it must be switched to operation with the self-contained water supply through the fresh water bottle. Activate the sanitation function in the sub-menu of the start dialog. Hold the syringe of the dentist and assistant element over the cuspider and press the water key for at least 15 seconds. Remove a single instrument and hold it over the cuspider. Briefly press the foot control. The removed instrument will be flushed with Dentosept S for about 15 seconds. The flushing will stop automatically. Repeat the procedure for all other instruments. Then, switch your treatment center off and allow the Dentosept S to sit in the unit for 24 to 72 hours. When your treatment center is switched on, fill water will appear on the Easy Touch display. Fill the fresh water bottle with a mixture of water and Dentosept S at a ratio of 100 to 1. Hold the syringe of the dentist and assistant element over the cuspider and press the water key for at least 15 seconds. Remove a single instrument and hold it over the cuspider. Briefly press the foot control. The removed instrument will be flushed with water for about 15 seconds. Flushing stops automatically. Repeat the procedure for all other instruments. After flushing the last instrument, press the flashing orange stop button on the Easy Touch. The sanitation process is now finished and your treatment center is again ready for operation. Switch your treatment center off at the power switch to replace water and air filters if you note changes in the media flows. Any remaining water will flow out of the water filter when it's opened. Because of this, you should place an absorbent cloth underneath the filter. Then, remove the screw-on cap of the water and air filters and replace the filters. Close the flap on the water unit. Open the flap on the base of the water unit to empty the sediment container. In addition to other solid particles, most of the amalgam residues are trapped in the sediment container by gravitational force. Loosen the bayonet catch by turning the sediment container counterclockwise. Pour the excess water out of the sediment container and collect the amalgam residues. Empty the sediment container at least every four weeks. Grease the O-ring on the sediment container. Hold the sediment container so that the latching tabs of the bayonet catch are positioned transverse to the water unit. Turn the sediment container clockwise to screw it in. Close the flap on the water unit. Perform microbiological checks of the water from your treatment center at regular intervals. Press the tumbler filler for at least one minute. Allow water to run out of the syringe into the cuspider for about one minute. Use the syringe to fill the test container with cold water to its upper fill line. To neutralize the disinfectant of the water sample, add approximately 1.5 grams of sodium thiosulfate. Immerse the tester into the filled container for approximately 30 seconds. The cardboard disc with the culture medium absorbs one milliliter of the water sample. Take the tester out of the container and shake off excess water. Then, empty the container. The result of the test provides information on the hygienic condition of the water. Mm -hmm.